To the day's other news now, and a group of campaigners is fighting to preserve a village in Somerset which inspired T.S. Eliot to write one of his most famous poems. There are plans to build 3,700 homes on the outskirts of East Coker near Yeovil, but there are only 900 houses in the village at the moment. John Andrews reports. It's a picture postcard village of hamstone houses and thatched roofs, but it's the T.S. Eliot connection that brings tourists here from around the world. The actor Trevor Peacock, famous from The Vicar of Dibley, is a local resident, and his 700-year-old home would be right alongside the new development. I've worked in America quite a lot, and they always say, uh, where do you live? Uh, you know, and I say, I live in East Coker. They live in East Coker. My guy, he lives in East Coker. And uh, their aim seems to be, yes, Buckingham Palace, Lord's Cricket Ground, and East Coker. But that's because T.S. Eliot was here. Eliot's remains lie in the local church. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature for his four quartets, one of which immortalizes the village. In my beginning is my end. In succession, houses rise and fall, crumble or extended, are removed, destroyed, restored, or in their place is an open field, a factory or a bypass. But many local people believe that the village should be protected from having a new town on its doorstep with or without its literary connections. Now, why the council can't recognize the important aspects of East Coker, such as its heritage, T.S. Eliot, the fact that William Dampier, the explorer, was born here too, um, and indeed the general heritage of the area, the ancient lanes, the drovers' roads, which is an immense asset and brings a lot of tourism into the area, which is a benefit to South Somerset in total. The local council says Yeovil can't expand in any other direction, and the development can be done without damaging the village. And I, I genuinely believe we can achieve that. Some people will not be happy, but then we're well aware uh, of that, and it happens all across the district. Even in the smallest of villages, you get people who've moved into the area and they want to preserve a chocolate box image. Unfortunately, that's fine for a retirement home. It isn't fine if we are going to provide jobs and housing for the future. We can do it in Yeovil without swallowing up East Coker. The battle about to start will generate more words than T.S. Eliot ever penned. John Andrews in East Coker for the West Country Tonight.